Okay, so it's like bodywork 101. I am, uh, I don't even think I passed 101. I sure didn't pass 201 and bodywork AP or whatever, I'm not good at that. But the basics I kind of know. So this is the kind of tools and, and stuff I've collected I'm gonna use. Uh, I actually just bought a brand new grinder. Check this out, brushless. Batteries supposed to last long. So thanks you guys for watching, because you bought this. If you wanna borrow it, let me know. Um, so anyways, I use these uh, flap discs all the time. This is 40 and 80 grit they come in. So I still got some, uh, that's what I used to grind all the weld down. So I got that to do, like up in here, I really haven't done anything. Still full blown welds. So you gotta do that. A little bit of hammer and dolly work to get that kind of taken care of. Um, in the past I have, over the welds, put fiberglass and stuff down. I'm not doing that this time or whatever. I'm just gonna use some body filler. So I got two different kinds of body filler. We got the main stuff, and this is like the fine glaze, or which I don't think we're gonna use any of that. That's for like finish work. Now body filler, Bondo, whatever you want to call it. Um, so Bondo is like a name brand. It's like Kleenex to tissue paper. So whatever. I I actually find the Bondo brand kind of it dries real hard. And it's paint and sand. This stuff is well Rondex. That's our local body shop brand. I think it's like Evercoat equivalent to or Everclear. I don't know. But I'm a believer in the expensive stuff. It sands off the best. And uh, the cheap gallon here, Canadian, is like 35 bucks and the expensive is like 55 bucks. And you save more than $25 worth of sanding, in my mind. So we got that. A couple of squeegees. We'll squeegee that around. I actually just bought this. It's kind of cool. So I typically when I'm mixing body filler, you guys for sure let me know. I'd use like that box and I just schmuck a bunch on and have a little dirt in it and then kind of go on. This is supposed to be like you put it on and then you just uh, rip the sheet off and you have a brand new one. 100 sheets. I don't know. It was on sale so I bought it. We'll try that. Um, these are all my blocks we're going to use. So this is the big one. I love this big Dura block. So should be good. I got teardrop tape and square round. Oh, a couple of smaller ones like that flatting out so the trick with bodywork well what I do with bodywork is it just it doesn't have to be exactly dead straight or whatever as long as it's true you know what I mean so your eyes not drawn to it being all wavy so when you see people like running a little palm sander on something that's going to create all sorts of waves and stuff like that and at Edie Speed Shop here <clears throat> we have nothing but the best but uh, so that'll flatten it out the sandpaper I always buy is this stuff take care of my stuff here. This is actually super expensive. Uh, it's 3M Cubitron. Cubitron? I don't know. It's really good. It doesn't plug up. It's uh, Velcro back. Everything works on this. Kind of go from there. Uh, actually in the truck I got MERS Big Sander. Which I think it's a 7 inch random orbital so I'll use that as well. But for right now we're going to get the grinder out. We're going to get a few spots kind of dialed together that I might not have taken care of like in here there's still weld and whatnot so we'll get that then we'll start filling it up with filler i don't know how much i'm gonna get done it is saturday on saturdays we go live so i got about an hour and a half to uh make a hell of a mess in here before we sit in a bunch of uh body filler dust sounds like fun eh the other thing is i bought a new car and i'm picking it up tomorrow so we're starting a video today tomorrow we're gonna be screwing on getting a car and then i think i'll be excited about working on that car so honestly, <clears throat> you're probably going to see the car video before you see this video. Because I'll work on this for an hour and then be 100% done with it. Because now this is boring. We've chopped the roof off and now we're doing sanding. This is like the hardest for me to get motivated is doing body work. And the best part is I'm sure everyone's like, paint it nice. It's a nice car. I get it. I hear you. Probably not happening. I hate doing body work. It's slow moving. And uh, <clears throat> you know the only thing worse than doing body work? 
is watching me do body work for like seven episodes. But uh, we'll set the time lapse camera up. I'll start doing some grinding and schmucking and uh, probably give up. And I think I want chicken fingers for dinner tonight. So it's a big plan. All right, let's get after it. So we'll take a little break, I'm kind of half done sanding. I'm probably just gonna scuff the, the front to back weld line and I'll just put another schmuck of filler on it because that all I'm gonna do is probably hit it with that big random orbital. It doesn't have to look perfect, it just has to be flattened out. <clears throat> what I wanted to show you is this. This is the key to any bodywork. So when you see metal coming through, high spot. When you see filler hasn't been touched, low spot. So here, where it's high is actually the proper height, so that's where the panels are, brand new stuff. We gotta put another little bit of filler in there. Eventually that'll just be smooth and flat across. Back here, same thing. Bit of a low spot right around there. Yeah, otherwise, it's coming together. So, you know, I use a series of tools. I use the uh, this flat one. So I start off just with it. I like using this start to start. And then once the second you know round of filler goes, it'll be wider. Then we'll use the bigger block. Uh, we might even just do one more and maybe on the third round do a little bit more to fan it out. And then I was using the teardrop kind of shape, you know, so you get in that little thing. Now you can use blocks of wood, uh, you know, little dowels, I mean, whatever is going to give the shape is fine. Your hand isn't the best because it kind of has uh, pressure points and stuff on it. So I used my hand a little bit when I was doing up in here, which I didn't really care about. If you're trying to make anything flat, your hand won't work. You need a block of some sort. So put another round on here and we'll uh, carry on sanding. We're running out of time tonight but I'm going to keep giving her. Okay, I jumped ahead one coat so I put another schmuck on and I sanded it off. It's 10 minutes where we got to go live so hopefully we saw you there. If not, subscribe below, turn on the bell and then every, I think it's every second Saturday we're going now, maybe every Saturday. We go live and we uh, BS online, which is always fun, so be there. Anyways, we got this going. So now this top piece, you can see just these two ridges. So it's got a bit of a bump, I feel. So I think I'll probably kind of coat it side to side just to eliminate the hard edge on it. Back here, we have just a little bit, needs a little bit of filler. We'll, we'll get in there, obviously. That's whatever, here is fine. Here's not bad. Little low spot there, actually, you can put a second coat on there. 
right here again this is where the door is you can just see where it's got just a little bit we need another coat i haven't done anything else on the scene i'll do that with the board uh tomorrow but i'm gonna leave it i like to put this stuff on and sand it well it's still you know 20 minutes old so it's still kind of soft and uh it's hard i just it takes longer to get through so that's really it for now i'm gonna try and get this be back out tomorrow i want to get both quarter panels done and in primer just so it doesn't look like well the door shut it looks like an actual quarter panel no one can tell the difference mentally i think i need that just stay motivated so even though i'm getting a new car tomorrow i'm gonna try and finish this tomorrow see you tomorrow well it's been a couple of days it's been on the garage um well i've been out in the garage screwing around other things but i just kind of been picking away at this here and there anyways uh, i put a couple of coats of filler on sanded it off got it kind of so it's decent i'm happy enough with it i think i got it down to uh, 180. i started priming a little bit so you can see the top here you know this was a bunch of different pieces obviously that was a piece this is its own piece uh, i don't know looks like one piece so now uh, i didn't do anything in the door jam i want to finish both quarters i think for this kind of video at the very least maybe the trunk or that kind of section so i'm going to prime it even though it's not perfect and still needs a little bit of love but i want to get it all primed i want to put the trim on and just see what's going to kind of <clears throat> need a little bit extra work because again the trim's going to hide a lot i mean look at all this we're going to put paint right over that i'm sure some people are screaming at their tv right now or telephone but we're going to make it all one color uh we can kind of carry out that get the back half of the car done then we can screw on the door jams because they're going to need a little bit of fitment Driver's side door's okay, this door's not. I think I'm just gonna put filler in it. It's pretty hammered, but yeah, that door's junk. We got the front fenders and the hood to do, but those should go pretty quick. So I'm thinking we'll finish the back half of the car here. Next part of the video, maybe we'll do a little bit more body work. Maybe even properly prime it with a gun. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Primer's on sale in the, in the uh, can, and we'll just do that for now. We're running out of time, and I wanna drive this thing. So hopefully another week I can have this thing kind of in the color I want it, which is primer. Do a little bit of stuff on the, finish up the wiring, get the lights in it, figure out a windshield, a few little odds and ends, and uh, take a ride around the block before it snows. Let's get this thing painted. Okay, so we got this hot rod primed up pretty ugly it's a little a little patchy but uh two coats the filler really soaks it up and it's it's rough in a few spots as you can probably see anyways we're gonna put this on oh huh, this looks like it's just maybe glued on or what oh, the... different the front last the same we'll just put a screw in the back can't find the one uh little angle piece. I know it's shocking with all my organization I have, but I'll have to find that. In the meantime, we'll get this on. Let's kind of hang the trim. So I can kind of show ya how it's gonna look, or how I think it's gonna look, or how I hope it's gonna look. I don't know if we gotta do any more body work we can. Oh, well, that's definitely different. Mental note, two-door and four-door screw holes <clears throat> are different. Okay, I'm going to mess around with this and see if we can get it squared away. Also, my Rock Auto 
magnet showed up, and it also came with the tonneau cover. So I'm gonna get that. Look at this piece of trim. I'll get all this junk out of the way. But uh, huh, I like it. That's very passable as a ratty junky '57 Chevy convertible that was chopped up. All right, be right back. Okay, I unpacked my magnet. This is gonna work out perfect. So I put the front piece of trim on. Uh, the front piece, I gotta re-drill and move back. It's almost like there's a door gap there. Anyways, so I got just kind of just sitting here. It's little clamps in the way, but a little bit of a gap, no big deal. We'll be able to kind of close it up. We got the little cover on. I think it's gonna work out great. So it goes around the back. It has snaps, obviously. I don't have those in there, so it'll tighten up. Now it's meant to go across the back of the seat. Uh, structure piece, but I think what I'll do is just put a little velcro on the bottom and a little velcro on the top of the standard back seat You know where it is huh. Must be in the back car Yeah Hopefully I jammed it in there, but uh, Man, I really lost it there a little velcro and then it'll just stick to the top of the back seat instead of like whatever it would be Around here. I can you know build a little box or something for that to hold or I mean whatever even just Snap it in. And it'll, that was embarrassing. It'll give the impression of a uh, wrecked up. So that worked out great. Oh, man, rock auto, right? We got the the chrome all on. I think this is going to be a good look. It hides a lot of the bodywork, which is nice compared to what we had. You can't really go wrong, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, anyways, I think what I'm going to do. We're going to. Schmuck up this side. This side shouldn't be as much. I mean, I'm not fixing any of the dent or that. I'm just gonna uh, sand this. I guess a big whammo right there. So be it. We'll grind down this area because it needs a little bit of love. I didn't weld in there yet, so I'll do that. But up here, I'll finish my little bit of grinding. But I can schmuck all that while that's setting up. I'll work over here, do a little sanding, then you know, just kind of work my way around. So I think I'll just kind of set the laps up a little bit. Oh, wasp! And uh, and go from there. I don't know. Shouldn't be that much work. I'm hoping I want to get the quarter done and the back kind of this will just this actually deck looks in good shape. We'll just scuff that. You gotta fill in there. But really another day. This will be ready. I think I mean, let's just use two cans of primer. I don't know, it's like seven bucks a can. I'll tell, I might just buy a gallon, paint the whole thing. But uh, I like I like just staying right here. This makes me feel good. I don't know if I have any back trim and stuff. I gotta say, this red oxide is for sure the way to go. It kind of gives it like it's, you know, a shitty red 57 Chevy that's been left forever. I'm hoping, I'm thinking, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, we're not fixing anything. I mean, there's little dents where the other antenna was and all those sort of things. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Time's of the essence. Let's get it one color. Let's get the interior in. Trying to track, I'm having trouble finding a window. I called all my window guys, I haven't found one, so I think I found a used one. But I might just kind of sneak this back in. And uh, I mean, it's on the passenger side, right? So do that. I gotta figure out the top. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I don't have any trim. I gotta find that stuff. But I'm gonna bask in my glory.
I keep coming to this side for a little motivation. So we're giving her on the other side, did two or three coats, I'm not really too sure, it's too dark out. It's getting late, but it's uh, kind of flattened out in 100, I think it was 180. Not bad. Um, the next thing I did, I ground down just a little bit and I put some filler in here. I'm just going to flatten this out. And I think I'm going to hit the whole, the deck lid, the back, and the side here in 180 or 200, whatever I did on the other side. Get this down to bare metal, get this a little bit of surface rust off. Deck lid should come, uh, come out pretty easy. One little spot down there, I got I don't know, it's just kind of rough. Get that dialed through this whole <clears throat> quarter panel. And then I think I'm just going to fog. I only have a couple cans of primer. I'm going to get the bare metal done and put a couple of coats wherever I have just on the filler. The filler just soaks up the primer. So we'll do that. I guess we're going to edit tonight, but I'm going to keep giving her. Tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can get the door jams and doors dialed together. And the fenders really don't need much. They need two little patches well at the bottom. I'll probably just do that real quick. But like this fender pretty much scuff and shoot. The cowl, same thing, it's got like moss, gotta clean that off. I can do that. I'll probably just paint kinda here down anyways, this is irrelevant. And everything else I'll mask off. The hood, same thing, I'll actually, I'll pull out the, uh, the bullets I just had in there. It already has the trim off the front. Scuff and shoot that. So, I'm gonna finish doing the bodywork. If I can't finish tomorrow, it might be one long night till like, you know, midnight tomorrow. Or maybe the day after, we'll have her all prepped, sanded, and then the next video we'll prime it. I'm gonna see if I can get some, like a gallon, of proper uh, primer. The door jams will take a little bit, that's what's gonna slow me up. Um, this door still hasn't even made closed properly yet. Still gotta get some more parts. I mean, door handles and all that, I just don't have. So, but, seeing the other side, primed, that little cover on, man, this thing is cool. So, so we'll get this dialed together, we'll get it painted up, and then I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's late, but uh, we got a little bit of primer down just on the kind of hot spots. where we had a little bit of bare metal and where we had some filler. Again, you can just see how the filler just soaks it right up. So that's just one coat of what I had in the can, but uh, good enough for now, I'll get some more tomorrow. But I think we're basically done. Door jam back is kind of prepped. I got just a little bit of sanding to do at the bottom. But I'm done for a night. Hopefully tomorrow we can knock this completely out and have it ready for a proper prime job. That'll be something, eh? I'm stoked. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Next day after work, gem for about an hour, it's probably six. Uh, we're going to get this thing ready for paint tonight, no matter what, I've decided. Um, I walled a couple of patches on the bottom of the fenders. That was beat, I just schmuck filler on there. Um, where there was filler on the door, I just kind of beveled it. Get the filler something to stick to. Uh, I did clear the door jams up just a little bit. I mean, simply running a grinder up and down. And then just schmuck some filler in there to kind of fill the weld up. This fender here, I had to grind down the bare metal. It was kind of rusty there. Same with the front. The uh, little headlight bucket. 
or whatever you want to call it, brow. It wasn't the best, but whatever, this fender took a little bit of... This fender was kind of rough. I took these, these are little kind of spear, or whatever you want to call them things, in the front. So, a Bel Air is uh, gold. So look at this was, this one was on this fender, it's silver, but it started off life as gold. And this one was on the driver's side, and it is gold. So obviously this one was in the sun its whole life, but uh, we're stored for 30 years. Bomb lab fender's fixed up. This fender is actually really good shape. Like we're just gonna scuff this one, shoot it. This door, same thing, wasn't too bad. Beveled two edges, schmucked it. Uh, oh, and the front of the rockers, I ground those down. Um, just same thing, a little bit of, a little filler. So we'll kind of work our way around a little and uh, really do that. I'll probably spot those with a little bit of primer just so it kind of soaks up in the filler, let that set up for an hour or two. Um, that's where I'll probably leave it. Because in the next video, we're priming this thing. I just got a gallon of uh, red oxide, so the same color that's on here right now, Tremclad, just El Cheapo was on sale, 40 bucks. So we'll do that, and then, I don't know if I need hardener, so I might just have to thin it and paint it, so it'll probably take like a day or whatever. So I might just take tomorrow off while it really hardens up. Who are we kidding? I won't do that. So I want to put the, the back trim on for sure. The bumpers can go on. I don't have door trim. I have one fender spear. Oh yeah, the hood. Hood's mint. And really, I'll slap it on there, scuff it, and fire some paint on it. So yeah, we'll do that. Pull the garage out, do a little bit of cleaning, and uh, masking is going to be easy. We'll mask the, uh, the tires. I got a drape. I'll just kind of drape over and Way she goes. But anyways, we'll uh, we'll get sand and set the laps. Should be a good time. Dialed. I mean, we're not going for perfection. It's uh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to give the uh, the filler I just laid down and sanded off just a couple of coats of primer because otherwise, when you're priming the car, I'll just take coat after coat and it'll be it'll kind of bleed through. So I'll just do two coats here and then I'll probably just my spray with the gun. I'm hoping I only need two coats. Now the other thing is we're going to spray this and. Uh, We'll let this dry a little so I can get the other side done. Then the whole car will scuff in, I don't know, 220, 240, whatever I got in the toolbox. So we'll scuff this paint up for this primer up so I'll have something to stick to. This is just, you know, like when you're when you're painting your house and uh, the old color bleeds through. That's what we're dealing with. So I'll get this squared away and then uh, we'll move on the other side. Okay, so this side has well, a couple of coats that have dried, so you get the vibe, right? Uh, I jammed the other side. I didn't do any filming because it was more of the same. Put filler on, sand it off. Put filler on, sand it off. This door is so beat, it's unbelievable. So I just literally just painted this. Um, that's where we leave this video. We're going to let this dry for a little bit while I uh, go up some supper. 
It's nighttime. I don't know if I'm going to be up to like 1 o'clock in the morning painting or if I'm just going to call it. We'll see. I would like to put some paint on this thing, but uh, I still feel like it's a lot to do yet tonight. And it's already 10 o'clock, so we'll see how the night goes. But I was thinking about this. So Murr goes away all winter, and he has a little garage. Well, he's got a big garage, but maybe this could live there when he's gone, and I could work on it here and there, and uh, maybe paint it properly. Do the body work on it over the winter, just take my time. Go over, you know, once or twice a week and block out a quarter, block out a door, do whatever I gotta do. And then you pick a color and really, really paint something. The main reason I don't paint something, I know you guys are always paint it, paint it, paint it. It's time, location. I only have the one space currently. So if I'm gonna take a full month to paint this, well, then unfortunately, all I'm gonna be doing for videos is like sanding a quarter panel. That's two days. And then it's the door, and then it's the fender, and then it's the hood, and then it's fitting the doors. And, the deck lid and all these little things and I just think it'd be terrible watching. If it's terrible for me to do, it's gonna be terrible to watch. Anyways, that's really it for now. Uh, I'm gonna keep jamming sort of the next video after supper here or after my late night snacks. I wanna get back out here. But uh, get cleaned up, get the primer mixed up, maybe lay down a couple of coats and let her dry or wait till tomorrow. I'm thinking that might be what happens. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to below. Uh, leave a comment, all those things, really appreciate it, and I will, uh, well, see what we're painting. Man, it looks like a real convertible. Look at that dent. You see the dent in the primer. <laughs>